to another video. So, I'm going to be uh, starting to review these add-ons that are on the official mar marketplace. And I wanted to start off with the gravestone add-on uh, because um, I want to talk about this because while it is a basic um, yes logo, this is a uh, copy of my uh, survival world that I've just uh, been doing. Anyway, um, the reason why I want to do this mod first off, well first it's a very simple mod, so it's uh, well, add-on, so it's very easy to start off with. Yes, lots of doggos. Um, so yeah, it's a, but I want to talk about this because um, gravestone mods—they are extremely popular. Um, you know, uh, because they, they are pretty handy. You basically you die and you basically get a death chest. Um, so let me just demonstrate it here real quickly. So let me just fly up into the sky. And <laughs> half a heart. There you go, I died. Lost my mouse for a moment then. So when you die, you get to this bit of paper, which is a gravestone finder. It'll tell you how far away and in what direction your death chest is, or grave, or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't save your XP though. Uh, and yeah, XP, like, that's that's been another thing that really needs to be fixed. Like, you should drop all, all the XP that you have, but oh well. And then you just break it and they get everything that you uh, had. Uh, oh, I had all this. Hold on. Um. Yeah, I think I have to the chest here. Yeah, let me just get rid of that stuff that I don't need. Right now. Anyway. So. And uh, the, 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 the problem is that your inventory does become a bit of a mess. Uh, but it's better than um, mobs picking up your stuff when you die, like zombies, piglins and all that. So it does make it easier to just pick up all your stuff. Um, but like the main reason that why these are good is because uh, <laughs> one side. If I go over here and go into the Nether, we might have to go the Nether. And yes, I did get the worst Nether biome possible. Well, let's say you're in the never and Oh no, I've fallen into the lava! What am I gonna do? I can't get out! Oh no! Now, we spot. Ah, I need No, jump down there. right here with all my stuff inside of it now I do have like a, a complaint or two about this uh, but this is really this is actually a really good um, add-on because as somebody who's like been looking into like add-ons before they before like they were added to the marketplace um, getting a good gravestone mod for bedrock is pretty difficult. Um, so yeah, and this is a this is a really good gravestone mod, uh, add on or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
because um, the ones that I looked at, um, they uh, had trouble with lava, and like lava is like the main, one of the main reasons why stone lava is like one of the main reasons why you want a great stone log. Um, But quite often I found that a lot of gravestone mods can't really handle lava very well. Um, so, yeah, this one being able to handle lava makes it just like one of the best ones. Uh, but uh, the problem uh, that I have with it is that you do get this gravestone finder. And you, the only real way to get rid of it is just like drop it on the floor or it in lava. Now, what I would do... Uh, well, well, one of the ones I, uh, and as I saw before, which I quite liked, which, um, uh, basically it was like, uh, you got a key, and if you crafted that key with an ender pearl, it would teleport you to your grave. Um, now, I would, and it also put you, like, your death coordinates in the, uh, chat, in the game chat, so, uh, I think... I think I prefer that one slightly more because then you don't have the, uh, this. Oh, it even tells you which dimension you died in. Um, which you have to, uh, uh get rid of. Because then once you open the, because there's the other one, once you open the, uh, gravestone with your key, the key vanished from your inventory. Oh, great, nice. That shouldn't have been in there. This is a pretty good gravestone mod. Um, so, I would highly recommend this. Uh, did I change it on the list? Let's check. No. Okay. Let me just. Uh, turn to something real quick so I can just fly down there. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Wait, cheats. Okay. There we go. Activate cheats. Play. Um. But yeah. So just yeah, but yeah, just the fact that t uh, your items survive. That your items survive in, la in lava makes this one of the best, pretty much the best gravestone at all that I've seen. Now, something that you do have to be careful of is like um, when it's like this, the last, there's, yeah, there is nothing underneath it. So you do have to be careful of that. Um, you will just end up falling for it. Um, but that cat, that's actually more useful uh, than uh, you might think. Because um, well, I'm dead here. And usually it would be a pain in the butt. Uh, if, it was, if it was completely solid, it would be a pain in the butt to get, like, get underneath it and place blocks underneath it to um, stop my items from being in lava. If I just get some like sand or gravel or not like smooth sandstone. Not suspicious regular sand. And well yes, then I'll get some sandstone. And I'll go to E mood zero. So we just get a bit of Sandstone here. Huh. Uh, well, the foil would have let me place blocks. Let blocks. If I can go through it, we can't blocks. Okay, that's. 
I would have imagined that you could have gone like uh, place blocks. Uh, it would let end blocks fall through, but apparently not. That that's odd. That's an odd um, interaction. Maybe like only part of it solid, probably. Then, so well, you you would have to get like a fire, uh, fire resist potion. Which isn't too difficult to get, it's sort of like magma cream, which I believe in vanilla can be crafted with a slime and a blaze powder, but don't quote me on that. Oh, actually. Check. Slim. Love. Yeah, you can craft it with a slime and blaze powder. So. Not too difficult to get, and the brewing stands. You really can literally get the brewing stands in. Um, in like villages and stuff, so. Those, those two things aren't, those aren't really difficult to get. And when you're in the nether, it's always a good idea to be carrying at least one fire resist potion around with you. But maybe, yeah, uh, this time you really want to see you'd have to, like, chocolate. I know I'm uncreative still. Ugh! Oh, there's two great stones underneath it now. Oh, yeah, that part's solid. But that part's not, that's why I fell through. Oh, yeah, all you'd have to do is block it up. And get your stuff back. Oh, that was free. There we go. And there's a gas shooting by the ball coming. Uh, good thing I took the fire with this potion. Uh, I had to give away, yes, you know him. Come on, ah, uh, right. Wait, hold on. Is it because they're in my off the firework or my off hand and they work? Okay, why he doesn't let you put them in, the, in your offhand if they don't work in your offhand? That's stupid. Anyway. Also, there's... I like the clocks in here. So yeah, um... And I believe, literally on like Java, I think it like... Uh... You know, Gravestone mods are, is the most downloaded mod of all time, or mod type. Um, so, yeah, definitely. And again, this is free, so there's really no reason to download it. But yes, I would highly recommend that this mod that for your Minecraft survival world. That, because, like I said, it is just useful and it does let you... Um, retrieve your stuff here, uh, but uh, it does deactivate achievements. So I would re very much recommend you to not use it on a um, long-term survival world and to instead, you know, use it on a copy or create an entirely new uh, modded world to use on. But yeah, other than that, there's nothing else to say really. So, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye